Uh, good evening and welcome to the select board meeting uh, of October 8th, 2024. It's 5.30 p.m. Um, pretty light agenda this evening. Um, so Did you say October 8th? October, oh sorry, I was looking at the minutes. It's October 22nd, 2024. Um, yeah, she had her minutes right underneath it. Mm -hmm. That's what okay. I'm looking at. <coughs> but it's still 5.30 p.m. You would be. We have no appointments this evening. Um, it's like our only agenda item is we have the review for the special town meeting motion, mm -hmm. um, which will be coming up at 630. Yeah. <coughs> um, so we have to review the final motions and vote recommendations that the articles for the special town meeting warrant. Um, so article one is um, a petition article. So we're good with that one. Um, article two. Um, to see if the town will vote to appropriate a sum of money to make emergency repairs to Avery Road near Taylor Brook, including any incidental costs and expenses, and as funding, therefore, to authorize treasurer with the approval of the select board to borrow such amount or any portion thereof pursuant to the provisions of General Law 44, Section 7, or any other enabling authority and to issue any bonds or notes that may be necessary for such purpose or take any action relating there to. Um, so Heather, the, uh, the finance committee came up with an amount last night? They did, <coughs> which is reflected in the motion. So, um, so. A, maximum, a maximum authorization of 150. Mm -hmm. We're anticipating, and uh, at the back of your packet, in the packet that the town meeting voters will have this evening, I hope this will, yes, yep. there's a breakdown of a borrowing scenario that my Cracker Jack team of Cracker Jack people, Pat Cracker Jack people, Pam and Kara. <laughs> Uh, were able to pull together uh, uh, for us this morning uh, that uh, demonstrates what a borrowing of approximately $85,000, um, how that would be um, injected, if you will, into our FY26 budget scenario. Uh, we've talked about the fact that it would be a short-term three-year note. Um, what is called in the biz a state house note. Um, it is at a low interest rate of approximately four and a half percent. Well, I guess I guess it depends on what your comparisons are. Um, we have one more year of debt for the Nilman Road project of about ninety six hundred dollars, adding approximately thirty thousand uh, dollars to that for the one year of um, FY26 for the Avery Road debt. Um, after that, for 27 and 28, uh, there would be no Nilman debt. It would just be the Avery Road debt. So you'd be looking at a short term borrowing about $30,000. Um, Clint, I believe last night you brought up that uh, because the, we've paid off the highway department's excavator loan and the highway department's loader. Um, loan. We do, we do a, a three-year lease payment for mm -hmm. those two pieces of equipment. Um, we finished paying for both of those pieces of equipment this year. I asked you that last night. You told I, me no. I, I said no. I said I don't know. I said I don't know. Oh. But we did I'm figure sure that out. You said no. <laughs> well, telling you yes in the moment, you would have spent it. You would have committed it. Who do I get it from? Yes. True. True. True enough. True enough. So, anyways. Um, we did confirm that those were, were paid off this year, <coughs> so we've been using our free cash to pay those loan payments, uh, which is a combined um, debt payment of, I believe, $90,000. So there's certainly room within our usual free cash allocation to at least pick up um, uh, this short-term borrowing, if that was the way the Finance Committee and the Select Board 
wanted wanted to go. That's great yeah. information. Yeah. And uh, uh, really, truly, I mean, that's mm -hmm. it, it's so clear. I was really impressed that they put that together in 20 minutes. <laughs> it was amazing. Well, and the point it took me longer to ask them what I wanted mm -hmm. than it did for them to pull the information together. Yeah. So I guess my question is why, if we're looking at 85, why are we asking for 100, up to 150? For incidentals? Or no, well, so, just well, okay, so, if you go to Article 3 of mm -hmm. your um, warrant article, you'll see that we had asked town meeting a few years ago to authorize up to $625,000 for work on, on Nillman Road. Um, of that $625,000, we spent $26,000, and now we're asking to remove that borrowing authorization. I think we've demonstrated mm -hmm. that we will only borrow exactly what we need not a nickel more. Right. Um, we don't intend to spend the full 150, but I'd much rather have that borrowing authorization in the event that we find that there's something else that um, we didn't anticipate mm -hmm. while that construction is, is going on. It, it's not a lot of mm -hmm. margin for error, um, but there's a small, it's you know not $625,000. Right. Um, where we don't have any grants that we can apply for to offset this cost, you know, it really is out of pocket. I think I'm just more comfortable with the slightly higher amount, knowing that we'll work very hard to uh, leverage <coughs> our Chapter 90 and other available funds to reduce mm -hmm. that. Could be that we only borrow 50. Yeah. So and, and what this is for is for the remainder of the paving for the rest of Avery Brook, not what's being done right now under the grant, because that's Correct. all covered by the grant. Correct. This would be to pave all of Avery Road. Well, to be, so the repurposed grant funds, the only uh, eligible portion of Avery Road that can be paved with those funds is the overlay. Right of the actual washout. Um, what our highway department has has brought forward is that the rest of the road is certainly vulnerable to further washouts and that this layer, extra layer or, or an overlay, if you will, gives us some immunity to Average rainstorms, <laughs> uh, and 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 the occasional microburst. Right. <laughs> I mean, it just gives them a little bit more confidence that mm -hmm. they won't lose another section of, of that road, and then also the mobilization fee. Once once um, once the contractor is up there with the paving equ equipment, mm -hmm. the actual cost of getting them back right. uh, to f finish the work is decreased. Um, right, that was a point that was made a couple of times last night, that mm -hmm. if they wait, it'll cost more. Because mm -hmm. you've got to get everything back up there and repatch. And, mm -hmm. um, so I do hope that voters uh, know that, that, that we don't ask for borrowing very often. Uh, we try to do everything that we can possibly do within the levy and, and at our annual town town meeting. Um, the fact that we're able to secure just over $250,000 um, from repurposed grant funds to offset the majority of this project. Um, we, we worked really hard on getting that done. I know that this board alone um, had to take um, a lot of votes and sign mm -hmm. a lot of paperwork to make that happen. Um, we, we really, this is our last resort. Right. Is to ask for more money. Okay. And there are a lot of people who live up there. Well, it, 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 what we're finding, based on the phone calls that I get in the office, is that it isn't really all the people that live there. It's the people that use that road to go from one end to the other mm -hmm. between Shepherd and wow. and and Charlemont. Um, it's it's a it's a busy road. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. 
Thank you. And then Article 3 to see if the town will vote to transfer 35000 appropriated for the Rec Water Pump Capital Project pursuant to the vote taken under Article 17 of the May 4, 24 annual town meeting to the Rec Area Improvements Capital Project or take any action relating to. Uh, so, good use yeah. of money. None of that has changed. So the only thing that changed is we actually added, we finally um, settled on a dollar amount. Well, um, we last one. Right. Well, <coughs> we had voted the thirty-five thousand dollars at your mm -hmm. annual town meeting. That vote was very narrow in its scope. We asked specifically for thirty-five thousand dollars to replace or repair the water pipe. And what we're finding is is that the um, Thirty-five thousand dollars. We could use that money to make repairs to the water pipe. That a replacement isn't necessary. The well, I mean, the, first the, was the, for the, the well. well. Now Thank you. Some other stuff that we identified as part of that project, right. and so we wanted to make sure we expanded on mm -hmm. the right. on the scope. So that we yeah. full transparency. Mm -hmm. Really, you know, we asked for a very specific um, project. And now we want to make sure that when we spend the money on a little grading on the driveway, that it is appropriate and our accountant will pay it. <laughs> Correct. That's really, <laughs> really it. That's really really it. Is yeah. Make sure we're yeah. Crossing so our there's no new money there. Yes. It's just no, we just, I'm, all I'm saying is we went over all the articles at yeah. our last meeting. Mm -hmm. The only change to any of them was just we added the dollar amount to Article 2. Yeah. Um, that was the only yeah. addition in yeah. and, and, and it is the <coughs> select board's discretion. If, mm -hmm. if, if that number, going back to Article 2, if that number isn't something that you're comfortable asking voters for, I certainly understand. No, no, I'm, I'm okay with it. I just yeah. wanted you to be able to explain it to people that were listening. Okay. I understand Thank it because I was part of the Finance Committee meeting last night. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I just... Mm -hmm. You know, the finance rec the finance committee's recommendation is just it's that. giving us a buffer. It's giving us a little okay. bit of a buffer. Yep. So I'm okay with that. Um, I'll uh, move to recommend approval of articles two, three, and four as written in the warrant. I'll we'll second that. Okay. Any further discussion? No. Mm -hmm. Questions, comments, concerns? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> Mm -hmm. Contracts and grant documents, we don't have any. Can I ask you a question while you're on the town meeting thing? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys please just say move as written in the handout when we do it? Instead of reading the full motion? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Think that'll be okay for everybody? Mm -hmm. They're all going to have the handout. Okay. Okay. That's after. Uh, no contracts or grant documents, no permits and licenses. Um, we have the minutes for October 8th. Um, that Mary, so a long meeting. Yes, it was a long meeting, and Mary knocked it out of the park as usual. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Mary. You. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from October 8th as written. I second that. Further discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We have the vendor and payroll warrants, 25-10. Uh, um, I'll make a motion to approve the vendor and payroll warrants for October 22nd, 2024. I'll second that. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Items not reasonably anticipated by chair, 48 hours in advance. I have nothing. Uh, select board member concerns? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Town administrator, short report. <laughs> okay, the way you always play with the wording. <laughs> yes. One of these no. days she's going to start putting it on there for me. No, no pressure. Well, let me just ask if there's anything that uh, uh, that the select board has questions or concerns about. Any updates on the road reconstruction, the road projects, or? Um, I'm, I, this might be something you don't have, but I'm curious as to how many of the people who had short-term rentals um, actually, you know, that, that lived out of town, or um, how they, 
for what are Great the, question. many of them Great question. went through the process to be fully registered? Well, it's, it continues to be an ongoing process. Um, F Phoebe can attest uh, the town has been working, um, or let, let me say, uh, FERCOG, through its public health uh, department, CPHS, has worked very hard getting the town organized. <laughs> Um, no, no, Let's you were, yeah, but they've really taken the initiative and helped us streamline that process through the collaboration between the town's registration process and the inspectional service component, um, both health and building code, um, and as well as fire inspection. Um, so it's an ongoing process. I can't give you a number of how many we have registered uh, because I think the majority of applications are still, um, still there's a lot of boxes to check mm -hmm. and I think some of the boxes are still un unchecked. Um, but we are working well with the applicants and the property owners and, um, and everybody in involved. Um, there was a lot more to that mm -hmm. than what I think any of us really expected. Um, and that does lead me to um, the one update that I wanted to share, which kind of hand in hand, is that as Buckland and other communities address short-term rentals and the, um, uh, the new legislation that allows the accessory dwelling units by right, the Affordable Home Act, and uh, <coughs> as, as we look at alternative energy bylaws, whether it be solar or wind, um, battery storage, we understand that our zoning bylaws are becoming so much more complicated and so much more involved. Um, and the need for enforcement and follow-up inspections has just grown and grown. And we're one of 15 communities that uses FERCOG's building inspection program and they have a staff of two people um, and as we also know the building code uh, as we call it the stretch code which is the energy efficiency component of building code has also increased the demand on those two building um, building inspectors so we've asked for cog to consider adding a third position mm -hmm. uh, that would be a dedicated zoning person. Um, and uh, that was brought to the, um, uh, the Inspectional Program Advisory Board and went over well that they're thrilled that the towns are recognizing um, mm -hmm. that additional services should be provided and are taking the initiative to request it. Um, so it's moving forward through the FERCOG uh, personnel process um, and I'm really thrilled um, that uh, there's an opportunity there. Of course, it's all well and good to uh, approve a job description, set a salary, and, but then the recruitment um, process and we know that that's been a challenge in recent years. So we're not there yet but uh, I'm just so appreciative that uh, that FERCOG recognized um, that that is a need, not just for Buckland, but for the other communities. Um, so we're working with Bob, Bob Dean on, on that. Um, and I know that's been a source of frustration for some of our short-term rental applicants, is that the zoning component of that has not been pr made a bigger priority. And understandably so. I mean, mm -hmm. code, code, code inspection has to take priority. But we can't move them through that inspect that zoning process if we can't get the inspections done. So, long way around of saying work in progress, um, much bigger than we thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. But we're, I think, um, trying to be as accommodating as possible. Now the town did pass. Um, a years, a few years ago, having accessory dwellings was allowed in in specific zones with specific conditions. Oh, the, okay. so this the state it? legislation makes them a a allowed use, um, just an allowed use. So, did we have to change ours? 
uh, well, the state law will certainly supersede our, 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 our zoning, but yes, we'll want to go back and revisit. And I think that that's something that, again, we're very lucky that we have the ability to work with FERCOG's planning department on that mm -hmm. because all the communities that they service and we don't have to reinvent the wheel on that. So. So, back to Avery Road. Yes. Is the road open right now? My understanding okay, is the right. road will be open after t the the uh, the expectation is that the road will be open after tomorrow. Um, I know that uh, Tillman was intending to finish up today, and that Tillman um, uh, will finish up today, and Joe Ray will finish up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then it would just be waiting on paving. Yeah, yeah. And w because we were able to get out ahead of that, we're mm -hmm. already on the schedule. So. Excellent. Yes. Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank you for that information. Um, there was some current concerns um, about the lighting downtown. Yes. Um, that is being addressed as best as we can. Um, <coughs> that is not a town project. <laughs> um, unfortunately, the way that the wiring for those poles is run is run through conduit, which is in the wall that they are replacing. That's not what happened. So oh. to be able to remove the wall, the wiring had to go as well. So they're putting new conduit in as the wall is going up, um, which is in turn once the wall is all poured, They'll be able to snake new wires, retie in the uh, the street lights, um, because the service actually comes from down the street and it feeds off. So, um, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot we can do. We've certainly looked into it. Um, you know, we are hopeful that we'll be able to figure something out, um, especially for at least for Halloween and. We're hoping that the project is done by Moonlight Magic, so it won't even be an issue come then. So it is something that we are trying to work with Balthazar on, um, but ultimately it is um, a, a slow go until they get everything poured. So. My concern is that after the Rag Shack Parade, when people are filtering back, mm -hmm. With kid, little kids, and it's, it's really dark right. there. Yeah. So again, I mean, that's it's something that we're going to be reaching out to Baltazar to see if there's any concessions we can at least make for that night. Mm -hmm. So um, whether it be getting some temporary lights put mm -hmm. up, um, it would make sense, or something along those lines. So um, I mean, my feeling on it is <laughs> we're not the ones that did all the damage. I don't feel as though the town should be the ones paying to have the lights put up there mm -hmm. to make sure that there's lighting. So, um, you know, I, I, I think going through Balthazar and hopefully getting some temporary lighting put up there for that, um, if they can't have it done by then, um, is a simple concession. So, at least for, like I said, at least for just the one night. Um, right. You know, I know it's getting darker earlier, but kind of is what it is. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, just so people are aware, you know, we we are working on it. Um, it has certainly been a topic of conversation the last few days. So, um, we're getting there on it. Anything else, Heather? That's that's. Thank you for bringing that up because I know that Pam and I are both. Um, hearing from residents that they're very concerned about how dark the village is. The uh, lights have been out since midsummer, um, but with the sun uh, setting so much earlier now, it's just that much more noticeable. Mm -hmm. um, and we are working with Balthazar and DOT to resolve it. But yeah, and DOT has been very good to work with, so I'm yeah. sure we can. <laughs> figure something out um, for one night. Yeah. So, 
anything else to report? Um, no, like I said, I'm happy to answer questions, but I don't have anything specific. Okay. Public comment. Phoebe? Yes, there is a um, vaccine clinic at Mohawk on the 30th um, at the same time as the Mary Lyon Resource Care. It takes a lot of time, energy, and money to get vaccinations all the way out to West County. So anything you guys can think of to do to encourage more people to sign up would be wonderful. Is it free? Oh, yeah, sure. It's free. I mean, you have to bring your health insurance, but if you don't have health insurance, you can still get vaccinated. Okay. Um, Where do you have to go to sign up? Um, you can go to forcov.org backslash vaccine or COVID or anything like that. <laughs> um, uh, uh, yeah, you can just go to forcov.org backslash COVID and it will take you right to the vaccine page. And I, you just I can do a link on our website too and send out a oh, quick news and notice. It would yeah. be great. Yeah. 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 Because it's, yeah. But yeah. it's COVID and flu and you can get either or both. Yeah. So that's the most current? It's yeah. the most current one, yep, and um, and it's co-located at the um, Mary Lyon Foundation's um, West County Community Resource Fair, so there's also like all kinds of people who are going to be there that afternoon, different organizations who can help people sign up for a SNAP or learn about different classes or talk to the, any number, there's probably 30 or 40 different organizations coming. And the oh. time for that? And the time for that is 3 to 7. Thank you. On what date did you say? The 30th. Clint, I did have one more thing because Phoebe and I have been talking about it all day. <laughs> wait, we've moved on. <laughs> I, know. I was like, wait, <laughs> wait, what? I know, I know. Um, in 2021, uh, we completed our, our the Open Space and Recreation Committee uh, finalized its update to the Open Space and Recreation Plan. Um, it is a plan that is. Uh, very um, instructive and informative and uh, we had made a strong statement at the time that this was not going to be a book that <laughs> sat on a bookshelf and it, it, it hasn't entirely but it, we could be doing more and Phoebe and I have had a couple conversations about how to uh, better engage the community and we're asking that the select board because the Open Space and Recreation Committee sort of is a, it disbanded after the plan, so there isn't a committee to call a forum. But we wanted to know if the select board would host a community forum specifically to um, uh, bring the open space and recreation plan, um, open it up to the to-do page, uh, invite the community in, and um, begin the process of resuscitating the committee uh, gauge some public interest in specific projects. Um, you don't have to do any of the work. <laughs> Phoebe and I will do all the work. We just need you to con call we just, the meeting because yeah. we can't call one ourselves. <laughs> when would you like us to call said meeting? I sent you an email. What was it? November the, 20th? The, uh, 13th, 14th, and 20th, I think, were the dates that you had. And I said that one of them was a select board meeting, so that was out. So how about the 20th of, of November? Do you just need our permission to call said meeting? Or do you need us to? Oh, that's, that, that, that works. I have no issue with it. We didn't want to necessarily haul right off and create another, create the committee all over again, but we could start by having mm -hmm. the kind of people who are engaged in that work come in to a room and look at the pages of recommendations we had said and who was going to do what and mm -hmm. yeah. see where we're at. We have another four years before it runs out. Mm -hmm. After that, we won't qualify for any of these park grants and stuff right. unless we have a new one. So, okay. <clears throat> so it's a good, it's a kind of a midterm check-in. Mid check mm -hmm. A midterm yeah, check-in. Yeah. That's what we're going to call it. <laughs> and, and how are we going to get the word out that this is happening? That's up to me okay. and Phoebe <laughs> to create some promotional email and Facebook and um, website um, buzz um, so it, it, was a, it was a pretty active group mm -hmm. and it, they worked people worked really really hard on that that was actually the first committee meeting in Buckland I ever attended those that, that was the first 
It was the first meeting, and the, even before a select board meeting, it was the first group of people that I met, besides the hiring committee. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, these people are intense. Well, maybe, maybe <laughs> and they get really, the old band back together. And they really want river access. <laughs> the old band has moved out, but yeah. um, yeah. there will there will yeah. be. Yes, we do want river access. Yeah. Right. Um, I have no issue. Does anybody else on the board have? Oh, I have issues, but I. Well, <laughs> yeah. and, and this side. Oh, oh this. Yeah, yeah. No, no problem. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Thank you. Thank right. you for your support. Um, announcements and upcoming meetings are. Yeah, we'll be moving into November. First November meeting is. The 12th? Yeah, November 12th. Yes. And that will be at 5 30. Um, and one other announcement. I would like to thank Pam for <laughs> saving the town hall tonight. Um, our our micro, the microwave went on the fritz and she picked up on it and it was a little warm. So uh, it could have been. Uh, We're all going to have some fire safety training. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, it makes sense that you know you can go home and tell her tonight. I will. Yeah. All right. Or save the day. That's yeah. right. So. Heather, for that meeting on the 12th, are we talking about potentially meeting earlier than 5.30 for a classification hearing? I'm telling you, they save me every <laughs> single time. Yes. Um, your annual tax classification meeting is happening. I know um, you're super excited about that so presentation. <laughs> <laughs> this is a this is this is a select board meeting, but the assessors come and they give you a presentation on uh, the the state of the the state of the state uh, from an from an assessor's perspective, um, and this is the meeting when you vote a single or mm -hmm. um, yeah. but split yeah. tax rate, and we get a sneak peek into what the new tax rate would likely be. Gotcha. So. And then we send out tax Five bills. Then that night. That's on the 12th. Potentially, if you're able to. We already got our tax bills. You got know, preliminary one. tax bills, <laughs> not your actual tax bills. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so November 12th mail. at 5 p.m. for our next meeting. Right. And that f in the first half hour would be the public hearing for tax classification. And then we would have our general business meeting at 530. Okay. Okay. Mm. At all? Pam, hey, is that Pam, all? Is that all? <laughs> <laughs> nope. All right. I'll uh, make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. And we'll see you all in 20 minutes, at, hopefully at the special town meeting. Yep.